Now this is a very bittersweet beer review and the fact that it's 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 sweet because we got we got IPA number 13 from Collective Arts here and um, always look forward to IPA uh, the IPA series from them but also it is bitter because a few videos ago we can check it out up here I actually broke my Collective Arts IPA glass I threw my phone and uh, I heard a big crash and the glass was all over the carpet in the corner so big shame there I mean my first IPA series beer without the IPA glass from Collective Arts in quite some time. So, F's in chat. But let's get into this, guys. I'm very excited. And hey, we still got an IPA glass. It's just from our friends over at Muskoka Brewery. Let's do this. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, May Peruski, for the Ruski Ruski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is, like I said and like you see in the title, is by the Collective Arts Brewing Company out in Hamilton, Ontario. This is the one that I've been waiting for. I always wait out for these after I've had the most recent, but today we got from their IPA series, IPA number 13. Some people may think 13 is an unlucky number. I don't think that one bit. I'm not superstitious. We have a double IPA with Strata, Zappa, and Comet hops coming in at a whopping 8.1% alcohols by volume. And it looks like this beer, this one, is in conjunction with Aslin Beer Company. Well, I don't know where Aslin Beer Company is, but that's pretty damn cool. Limited release, no listed IBUs here on the very pink and reddish can with a bunch of intertwined snakes or snacks. However you wanna, however you wanna say it, snakes. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool can design. Looking pretty fruity off the back. I'm just gonna pop up Aslan Brewery, try to figure out where they're from. <clears throat> and looks like the they are from what is V A Vermont? Stop Vermont. Um, it is, this is VA. What is VA? Come on, I'm so sorry to any American viewers. I don't know what VA is. Virginia is VA? That doesn't make any sense, but okay, I guess so. So they are in Vir uh, Virginia. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty far. Pretty far, indeed. Yeah, not bad. Nice. So we got Aslan from Virginia, or VA, VA. I don't know how that works out, but whatever and we got collective arts let's just wow i'm wasting so much time let's just crack it in this bad boy let's see what we got jeez louise is it gonna be colorful i don't know i'm basing that off the can let's pour it up no but it does look fairly hazy boom half the can in here and looking at the beer nice beautiful orangey yellow more yeah yellow like just fresh like wow whoa hey there Hey there, little off-white head. Nice and hazy. Ooh, quite excited. Let's have a smell. Mm. Resiny, piney, citrusy, grapefruits, oranges, clementines kind of thing. Passion fruit, mixed berries? Mango. Pineapples. Hmm. Agitation. Melon. Not coconut. Resinous. Mixed berries seems to be the biggest thing that really stands out to me on this. Pretty cool. I'm excited. Let's have a sip. Wow, that is thick and creamy. Holy. Nice bitterness too. No IBUs on the website, no IBUs on untapped, as per usual with these things. Wow, that is interesting. I need another drink. I was really focusing on the mouthfeel there because that is a heavy, creamy beer. Pretty good so far. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. flavors again some sort of mixed berry with a lot of resinous pine in the background 
grapefruit, citrus notes of little 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 juice and rind of like an orange or a clementine, tangerine. Which one's sweeter? Whatever the sweeter one is. Candy, like wine gums almost. Just because wine gums have a little bit of bitterness going on, that's sort of what I'm getting off this. It's sweet, but the bitterness comes in with that resinous, resininess of it, and it's just it makes a sort of wine gummy, um, is sweet and bitter uh, sort of thing going on, which is pretty damn cool. But oh my god, is it a heavy ass beer? This thing just gets in your mouth and it coats your palate, and then it's just like. Whoop. This is probably one of the heaviest IPAs I've had. Yeah, it's just heavy and thick, but in the most perfect way possible. Holy Jesus, that's good. The bitterness though does last fairly long. It's, it's very sweet and, and somewhat berry and a little bit tropical as well, but then that bitterness, that resonance just lingers on. Not in a bad way though. Some beers, like I said, the, the bitterness lingers and it stays too long, like an, like an over, overstaying a party guest or something like that in the morning, but this it ain't bad. It's, it's, it works. It works quite well indeed. <clears throat> Silky smooth, heavy, fruity. Mixed berry, wine gummy, with notes of like citrus. A little bit of candied uh, or dried mango. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing any pineapples, but little, little dried mango, wine gummy fruitiness, mixed berries, resiny pine, grapefruit, and then a little bit of citrus, uh, or an orange or clementine or tangerine juice, and uh, and. Uh, rind as well. Pretty damn good. Let's see what the can has to say. I know they don't have a ton of information on their cans, but that's fine. Collective Arts Brewing and Aslan Beer Company. IPA number 13 with Strata, Zappa, and Comet Hops. Double IPA. 8.1% alcohols by volume. No IBUs listed. Uh, limited release edition. Collective Arts Brewing. Unfiltered. No real uh, descriptions, but that's fine. We get the art from Eric Jones in Richmond, Virginia. <clears throat> Again, with the pinky, purpley, well no, pink and red sort of um, snakes on them on the bottom. Packaged on June 11th, 2020. And today we are sitting at June 24th, 12, 13, 13 days old, still fresh as all hell. Very exciting. Website, collectiveartsbrewing.com. You go to the beer section, you do find the IPA number 13. Again, listing the 8.1 ABV, no IBUs, and description. We have a long description, let's read it. For the first time ever, we're collaborating with another brewery on a beer in our numbered IPA series. For lucky number 13, we got together with Aslan Beer Co. to make a classic double IPA. Hopped with Strata, Zappa, and Comet, these unique and sought after strains lend the beer a delicious, dank, passion fruit forward character with underlying notes of mango and citrus. Passion fruit, why, did I, did I mention passion fruit? Or did I just think about passion fruit? Probably just thought it didn't say it. Are you gonna believe me? I don't know if you will, but hey, take my word for it. Okay, no mixed berries? Let's get mixed berries, maybe that's the passion fruit dancing with the, uh, with the dank, uh, with, with the uh, with the resiny, resiny character of it. Maybe that's it, no idea though. Dry hops that are user, Strata, Zap, and Comet. All it is, category is seasonal and in collabs. Then you scroll down a little bit more and then you have a little um, information about Eric Jones, the particular artist in question of the uh, can design. And good job, the IPA series, they always have pretty uh, interesting art Again, Collective Arts usually does in general, but the IPA series, they seem to just uh, find the more wackier looking ones, which are pretty damn cool. But damn, that's a good beer. Damn, that is a really good fucking beer. And it's heavy, and I'm getting full, and I'm not even halfway done the actual can. Good lord. Thank you, Collective Arts. Untapped, 
IPA number 13 has been given a 4.08 bottle caps out of 5 instead of a whopping, well, not a huge bunch of reviews, but it just came out recently, so only 503. But still, ooh, I can see that number either going a little bit more up or staying about the same. Pretty damn good stuff. I really do enjoy this. Collective Arts, IPA number 13 at your local LCBO is going to be $4.55. So I think that's actually a little cheaper than what they used to be. I thought usually all the IPA series were $4.95. So if you're saving 40 cents, that is not bad at all. Still $4.50 expensive, but at the stature and the beer that you're getting, and it's because it's such a limited run, ooh, totally worth it in my opinion. Totally worth it. Damn, that is... Such a heavy beer, but oh, so beautiful. It's definitely more of, it's more bitter compared to others in the IPA series, um, as, as I can remember. I think there maybe were a couple that were a little bit more bitter, but this seems to be a, a, an extremely heavy, flavorful, in all aspects sort of kind of beer. I don't know why I was getting mixed berries. Passion fruit works, but I was just something about it. Something, maybe it's the color of it. I don't know why, but I was thinking mixed berries and then wine gum sort of th th got thrown in there a little bit. They're saying passion fruit, I can see it, but I kind of like that mixed berry sort of wine gummy sort of uh, characteristic that I was getting. I like how my mind went there uh, from the taste bud, but damn. Pretty damn good beer. With that said, guys, cheers everybody on the final sip. Well, let's get rate trains and wrap this thing up. Heavy and absolutely beautiful, beautifully flavored. IPA number 13. Oh my lord. A Collective Arts and Aslan Beer Co. What do I do with you? Holy, that's a heavy ass beer. Might be a little too heavy, dare I say? I don't know. I don't know if I do. That's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a meal. It's a meal and a half for sure. Jeez, IP number 13. Des deserves a solid. Shit. 9-7. 9-7, yeah, 9-7, 9-7 works. It is a damn, damn good beer. Wow, holy Jesus. If you haven't heard the past couple reviews, um, I'm doing a little new new way I'm rating stuff. I'm, I'm doing individual points as well, like point 0.1 or point 0.7 or point 0.6 or stuff like that. Thought I'd, I've been through enough beers, thought I'd throw that in too. Fun stuff. But yeah, holy jeez. Presentation. Presentation. I'm still taking in this beer a little bit. IP at number 13. Uh, collective Arts, you always do a bang up job with your presentation. This, this color, this color right here, pretty damn good. Something different. Really do enjoy that. Great artwork, Eric Jones. Solid stuff indeed, sir. No, not a ton of information on the can, but you do get a clearly labeled canned on date on the bottom. The website's really where it's at, but really, you're just getting a, des a description of the beer, which, again, is always appreciated. No problems with that. Presentation, because of everything, gets a solid. Gets a solid, gets a solid 8.5 out of 10. Remember the presentation, I'm still doing the point .0s and the point .5s. Don't worry about it, it's just easier for me. I'm not gonna get super nitpicky, I don't think. Maybe I will, who knows, maybe I'll just change it up. Who who actually knows? But yeah, with all that said, guys, before I leave you, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you can leave all, all that information down in the comment box below. If you wanna go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, May Bruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, May Bruski, and like I always say, crack beer and enjoy. Cheers. Big boozy beer in a big glass. Big boozy beer. I'm gonna set on my ass. Do 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 do. Cheers.